Hey everyone. So, um, what can I say? I'm in the hospital. Uh, oh. And uh, the nurses just come. Perfect timing. I just uh, started doing this video and the nurse comes. So, I'll have to stop here for now. Okay, so now the nurse is gone. What did she do? She, she took my pulse, checked my oxygen levels, uh, took my blood pressure, and um, gave me some antibiotics and uh, refilled my intravenous. Anyway, so I came here with chest pains and back, back and chest hurt when I, when I moved or breathed. So um, it's a kind of a COPD flare-up, but it was really bad this time, and I was kind of freaked out. So I decided I better come to the hospital. So anyway, I thought I'd turn this into a video, not about me, about what it's like in a Japanese hospital. And of course, they're not all like this. This is a pretty new one. I think this is probably the newest one in Okinawa. But anyway, this is how a hospital um, should be like, or I don't know, I think it's very good. Uh, I'll let you be the judge. So I'll give you the uh, grand tour of my room. Okay, because this is where I'm spending pretty much 100% of my time. I'm not wandering around the ward or anything, but most of the rooms are like this. There are other rooms w which have four people. This is a private room. I don't know why they put me in a private room. Maybe it was because uh, I came in here with a fever and, uh, you know, with this whole COVID hysteria, maybe they thought it was that, so they isolated me. But I don't have COVID, so um, they came, two tests came back negative. So anyways, let's get started. Let's get started. I'll, I'll go from the outside and I'll work my way in and uh, explain things to you. Okay, so this is my room, 742, and it's got my name on it. We'll open it up, go inside. So we open it up and to the left, you got a light switch and uh, air conditioning control and hand sanitizer. To the left, or to the right, sorry, you got this vanity, sink, mirror, uh, soap, paper towels, gloves and gowns. A little bit more to the right, just this table and storage, uh, oxygen, uh, kind of like a humidifier, um, switches for the lights, uh, called a nurse, and uh, power outlets. Okay, Let's swing around. It's actually quite spacious. And uh, yeah, here's a table over the bed where you do your eating. And uh, here's the bed, fully adjustable, <clears throat> up and down, clean, everything works. There's a little stand here for a TV. If you wanna pay for a TV, you can, you just need to buy a card. And then there's this little lockable uh, drawer and a little fridge. 
And there's a little chair here. If you have any visitors, but there's no visitor visiting allowed because of the COVIDs. Now you go in here, is the bathroom. And first you have fully state-of-the-art toilet. It's got a washlet, wash your butthole or your other hole if you're a woman. Uh, what else, okay, Sh shower, shampoo, conditioner and body soap, adjustable heat, little stool for you to sit on. And uh, yeah, very nice and clean. Okay, so let's move out. And a little bit, little window here, can peer outside <coughs> at uh, the shopping mall across the street. So there you have it, a detailed look about what it's like inside a Japanese hospital room. And uh, yeah, in my opinion, it's uh, very, very good. I have uh, nothing really to complain about uh, other than the no visitor policy. Kind of miss my wife. All right. So anyways, everybody take care. I hope you're all doing well or, you know, at least better than me. And uh, thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'd appreciate it. It would really help me out. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.